In 1998, former All Black Warren Gatland was appointed Irish coach. I've known Warren Gatland probably longer than most players because uh, Warren, when he toured here with the All Blacks in 89, I played against him. He certainly did a great job at Connacht there three years ago, and obviously that was a stepping stone for a lot of players on the Connacht side to under 20s, uh, under 21 honours, A levels, and senior honours. And, uh, and certainly it was a stepping stone for Warren, which he's, uh, which he's grasped, and um, he's doing a good job at the national side. So, you know, it has been good for everybody. And uh, he's certainly a knowledgeable coach. He, he knows all about forward play, back play. He's good man management, and uh, he's certainly very positive. In the 90s, um, we'd been through seven or eight coaches, and you have a bad season or a couple of bad results, and the coach gets a blame, and uh, he'll try someone else. So, uh, but. I looked it on as a challenge and uh, I think someone presents an opportunity like that to you and really you can't turn it down. Gatlin goes about his business quietly on the training field, mindful that psychology is a very important part of man management. Certain players you've got to get close to, you, you, you've got to get to really know them intimately to, to know what makes them tick to try and get the best out of them. Other players you, you probably keep a distance from because there are times that they they need to be you know, given the sort of sharp tongue in terms of what the expectations are for them. I'm very, very big into trying to create a, a real team environment to, for, for, for players and management to work really closely together, to get on well with each other, to, to trust one another. So it's not just the 15 taking the field, it's the 15 plus the 7 subs plus the, the 10 or 12 management that are involved. It's, it's a real team effort, everyone focused, everyone working towards the same goal, the, the, going down the, the, the same road and, um, and by trying to create that, that team harmony, that team environment, hopefully people get on well together, trust and support each other, we're going to, to get the best possible results that we can achieve. I think some people, you know, say to your assistant coach, well, you know, it's a great time most of the year, there's only, you know, seven or eight games a year. But the amount of work and preparation that goes into trying to get all that right and making sure as well that you, you, you have the best team on the field, that every player that's involved gets seen enough so you have a clear picture of how good they are and what they can add to the, the whole thing. That takes a lot of time and it's a great job from that point of view because you're totally immersed in something you love and uh, I really enjoy that part of it.